All right, Con, Con, you back. Uh, <coughs> now, I'm going to end it with the book of Obadiah. Because the book of Obadiah is a, is a very short book, but it's a very powerful book because it's going to tie in everything that basically we was going through in the lesson. Okay? When it talks about the Most High laying um, uh, the, the Esau Edom desolate, laying his mount desolate, a.k.a., uh, uh, you know, uh, the people, his, his people desolate. Okay, them as a nation desolate, you know, burning them. All right, and this is uh, gonna tie. This is gonna tie into everything that was said, man. This is the book of Obadiah. I'm gonna start at the top. The very slacky. <coughs> the book of Obadiah, the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. There you go, right there. So there is no misunderstanding of whom this is addressed to. <laughs> Uh, thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and the ambassador is sent among the heathen. Or heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. That's right. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ambassadors, uh, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Right? <coughs> Behold, uh, verse 2 Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised, because out of all the heathen, okay, nation, all right, the Africans, the uh, Chinese, which is Moab, Ammon, which is uh, uh, the Japanese, the uh, Ishmaelites, the East Indians, uh, the Arabs, uh, the, the uh, you know what I'm saying, the uh, Elamites, you know, uh, the Hamites, which is the Africans. Out of all those nations, Esau Edom is the lowest, okay, the most despised one. Because like I said, the Lord set them up to basically be a, uh, a vessel uh, fitted for uh, destruction, man. Their whole uh, uh, reason for being made and being created was to be destroyed. All right. Uh, verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though, and thou, and though thou, thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So this uh, uh, Esau Edom has uh, uh, created space stations, all right, uh, uh, put satellites up there, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, you know, more than likely uh, ha have the uh, bunkers up in this, in this space, in, up in space, man. All right, because when this thermonuclear missiles, uh, when, they get, when they start getting fired off, you know, they, they're going to go to their bunkers and think that, they're just gonna come out throughout all the destruction and continue on with their wickedness or continue on with their uh, evil agenda. They're a new world order, but it's not gonna happen. All right. um, the pride of thy heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rocks whose habitation is high. Thou says in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, <clears throat> how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen until they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are the things sought up? That's right. And that's through the spirit and power of the Lord. He has his men all right, on the highways and the byways, on the YouTube, throughout, you know, uh, and, and uh, exposing this devil, man. All right? Uh, Creating uh, edifying lessons that if you had the ears to hear, you would be able to, uh, um, you know, be converted and be healed. You know, but a lot of a lot, um, a lot of our people are not meant to be able uh, to understand this word to be converted and be healed, man. All right, but yeah, the the things, his hidden things, are set uh, searched out, man. All right, and uh, you know, culminating to the uh, mob. All right, the plan that and the plans uh, that he has before that. The incrementalism that he's using with uh, uh, these jabs, okay, to introduce uh, the MOB, right? Uh -uh. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have bought thee even to the border. That men that were at peace with thee have received thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in them, in him. Shall I not in, the, in that day? Say if the Lord even destroyed the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau. That's 
That's right. So he's gonna destroy uh, the wise men out of Edom, man. Uh, uh, the scientists, um, the uh, top. Well, you know, they call the the, the, the uh, they call themselves the elite. All right. Uh, the, you know, the bloodlines that run this earth. Okay. That, that put all all of these uh 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 like that put all this uh thing all these things into play. Okay. They're, they're so-called wise men. They're going to be, uh, 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 you know, cast down by y'all by some of y'all. And thy mighty man, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. And, you know, the Temanites, Temanites are, are the most, uh, they're, the, they're the smartest of the Edomites, man. Okay. And, and the dumbest are the Amalekites, man. The so-called, the Jewish ones. That, that run this earth, man. Those are the dummies. <laughs> All right. Uh, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was as one of them. So every uh, nation has had a hand and enslaving uh, the Israelites, man. Okay? And, and including Esau Edom. Uh, but thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest should thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. That's right. So they, uh, uh, the, the uh, Edomites rejoiced over the so called blacks uh, uh, going into slavery, man. Okay? But hey, all of that's gonna be recompensed, man. You know, by how about shit y'all shop? Flock it. Uh, thou should have not entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou should have not looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. And that's what they've done. They laid hand on our substance, everything that was given to us by how about shit y'all shop. But we're gonna take all that back then, so. Okay, we're gonna get all, all that all, all of the, those treasures that they've taken, all right, from our downfall, and then some. Right? We're gonna get subsidiary, all right, we're gonna get tributary. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The uh, nations are gonna be bringing us things, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, hey, all praise to you. How about some y'all? Um, neither should have thou have stood in the crossway. To cut off those of his that did escape. Neither should have thou deliver up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, like, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. All right? And that's the only people that's going to get delivered. Okay? Going to get saved. Because every other nation, they don't need to be saved. What do they need to be saved for? They have, they have, they have their, their heaven, their kingdom over here, man. All right? The blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, are the only really downtrodden people. Okay? It's like, are the uh, only downtrodden people that needs uh, delivering, man. You know? Ah! Uh -uh. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. All right? And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And that basically tied in everything all right, that uh, I was going into with this lesson, man. Okay? Um, you know, they're going to be totally destroyed after that thousand years of slavery, man. After they uh, build us up our kingdom, all right, in, uh, on earth, okay, because the kingdom is going to be on earth, all right, just as we've done to them, uh, for them, all right, we build it up their kingdom in America, okay, so likewise, they're going to build up our kingdom in the kingdom of heaven, but afterwards, they're going to be totally destroyed because there, there can't be any Edomites uh, uh, dwelling around in the uh, uh, in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, because they're gonna uh, 
try to repopulate. They're going to try to, uh, you know, bring themselves back because only uh, you only need one Edomite male to start up a whole nation. So that's why the Lord is going to, like it's going to say, cut off branches, burn the, burn the branches, okay, which represents, you know what I'm saying, the sons, daughters, all right. Let me read it. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain of the, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of the host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto um, Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is the Shepharad, Shepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Okay, so a, um, you know, uh, I wanted to, uh, basically, what it said, uh, it's gonna, it's not, the Lord is not gonna leave them root nor a branch, man. That's somewhere else. Uh, but that's talking about the whole nation of uh, 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 Esau Edom, man. You know, so um, yeah, that's about it, man. Hey, uh, uh, you know the black, you black children of Native Americans, uh, repent. You know because we're in some dire times, and uh, it's gonna get worse. Jacob's trouble is coming. Uh, cleave unto your power, seek your power while he may be found, so that you may have grace uh, to get through. You know the terrible days that's to come, the evil days that's to come. So hey, uh, that's it. Giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Harakah, Hamudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Who will well, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the elect. Till next time, Shalom.